Fred, uh, what's the latest on the search for the killer? Well, the search for the killer is still going on. And as you mentioned, there is that uh, uh, CCTV video out, that surveillance camera video now uh, of the moment when all of this happened. But so far, uh, the authorities here are saying uh, that they don't have uh, any suspect in custody and they don't have any suspect at all yet. But the interesting thing that they say that they do have is that they now believe that they've identified the vehicle that was used as the getaway car. One of the things, of course, uh, Victor, that's been helping them a great deal is the fact that there is so much surveillance technology, so much security technology in the area where all of this happened. It's right next to the Kremlin. It's right next to Red Square. There's uh, security cameras everywhere. And you could, have, you, you could see uh, surveillance camera video of that car on Russian TV before the actual vehicle was found. So that's absolutely significant. The other thing that's also been very significant to the investigators so far is the fact that they also had quite a few witnesses as well, because there were other people uh, uh, running around there, walking around there. There was a lot of other cars, as you can see on that video uh, as well, that were driving around there as well. And then, of course, there's Anna Duritskaya, who is uh, that uh, Ukrainian model who was with Boris Nemtsov, who has also given the police testimony. And we were actually able to speak uh, to a friend of Nemtsov's who said that he was one of the first people at the scene after this happened because Anna Duritskaya actually called him and he immediately rushed to there. And before being taken away by police, she told him uh, that uh, he'd been fired on several times and that someone jumped into the getaway car immediately. So certainly she is one of the uh, prime witnesses in all of this. And the police say they are making headway, but they don't have a suspect in custody yet, Victor. Let's talk more about uh, the, the investigation because several of the analysts we've had uh, on this program and on the network over the last 48 hours or so have questioned that this, this investigation will be one that will satisfy the Russian people, uh, that will be one that will actually come to the conclusion of uh, who killed uh, Neptsov and, and uh, who ordered his, his death, if it indeed was ordered. Have you been able to gauge the degree of confidence of uh, the people there in this investigation? Certainly the people that we spoke to, and we were last night uh, on the bridge uh, right behind me, uh, which is actually the place where Boris Nemtsov was gunned down. If you spoke to people there, uh, not very many of them said that they had very much confidence uh, in the investigation that was uh, going to happen. I mean, it's interesting because even the Kremlin has come out and they said that they believe that this was an ordered killing, that someone targeted him, that someone you know, plotted this for a very long time. Someone must have known the route that he was taking, must have known where he was, must have shadowed him for a very long time, which does indicate that there was a high degree of professionalism in this assassination uh, that happened. If you spoke to people last night, you speak to people this morning, they say they believe all of this was politically motivated. Now, the big question is, who might be behind this? Of course, there are some people who believe that it might be the highest levels of politics in this country. However, so far, there isn't really anything uh, to indicate that that is actually true. And one of the things that we have to keep in mind is that while Boris Mentsov had a lot of admirers in this country, he also had a lot of enemies in this country. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the political sphere that did all of this, but it could also be uh, groups that were uh, opposed, for instance, to his stance on the Ukraine conflict. There are some uh, some organizations, for instance, of former Russian soldiers who uh, are very much opposed to Nemtsov's stance on the Ukraine conflict. So he did, did have a lot of enemies, but you're absolutely right. The investigation is not one that's likely to satisfy many people here in this country, Victor. All right, Fred, we'll check in with you throughout the morning.